This month, we're talking about one of our more challenging themes. That would be self-control. Self-control goes into every aspect of our life. Controlling our thoughts, controlling our emotions, controlling not eating that donut when we're really hungry and it's right there at hand. Uh, so, again, with self-control, you know, teaching it to kids to, and working on it yourself, we have to set ourselves up to get the best self-control. Right? Uh, you know, case in point of the donut. Don't have donuts out where they're sitting out where you're seeing them constantly. Out of sight is out of mind. And, and it happens very quickly. Um, you know, it's having little marks. You know, one of the things that, this is something that Ben Franklin did. And he had 13 virtues that he focused on all the time, one of them being self-control. And he picked one virtue per week. And he'd mark his off every day of how he did on that virtue. Now, I've done something similar. I do something similar to that every day. Um, and I just have a small card, you know, at the top of it says, did I do my best to, you know, and then there's like six different things that I'm working on. I don't recommend starting out with that many. Start out with one. What's that one self-control that you would like to improve upon? You know, and you just Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, every day, rate yourself on a scale of one to 10. You know, I have one of mine that one day was a zero. The next day was a 10. You know, it's kind of all over the board, you know, but I want to look at the average. What's the average? You know, if the average is 8.7, well, that's pretty good. If the average is 2.3, eh, I need some work. But here's the, the thing with this, and this is why it's important. Again, at the top of that card, it says, did I do my best to? You know, and there's some recent research that shows that when we pose that question to ourselves, it has a far superior impact on the results we are looking for. You know, and you can do this with your kids. You know, put it on a little sheet, a little check mark, stick it on the fridge. You know, did I do my best to treat my little brother with respect? Did I do my best to make my bed? You know, we have something like this that we use in, in karate, uh, a responsibility sheet, we call it. And every day the kids are putting on a smiley face or frowny face, depending on how they perform that day. You know, for you, you want to have a little more significant measure. You can use a frown or a smile if you want, but... Um, again, having a scale, we, we as adults can really relate to scale. All right, so figure out that thing that you want to have control on. You know, put up that check mark. Um, but also when you get to the end of the week, if you're at an 8.4, reward yourself. All right, if you're at a 7 or under, look at what you need to adjust to make that work better for you. And self-control, it's, it's a lifelong process. Um, but it is definitely a worthy process, you know, and that's what we want to think about.